What's up guys, my name is Ryan and I spent the last few years exploring Europe and I want to show you my favorite castles and the stories behind them. So here's my European castles top 20. Europe is home to the world's most stunning castles. From the medieval fortresses of the UK to the fairy tale kingdoms of Germany, Europe's castles remain unmatched to the rest of the world. All right, let's start this video off at the Orava Castle. Located in Slovakia, Orava Castle is perched perfectly on a skinny rock cliff. This may be one of the most eerie castles in all of Europe. It was used in many scenes of the famous 1922 horror film Nosferatu, so you definitely get some Dracula vibes there. Now, it was built upon a former fortress in the 13th century after the Mongol invasions to defend what was then the Kingdom of Hungary. Like many castles, Orava was added on and destroyed by fire and then it was ultimately restored. I just think it's so crazy how they were able to integrate the castle onto the stone peaks of the hill and it doesn't even look real. If you want spooky vibes, you gotta check this place out. While we're still in Slovakia, we're gonna head over to Spies Castle. Located about a two hours drive from Orava, Spies Castle is one of Europe's largest by area. Its origins begin in the 12th century when it was built upon an earlier castle. The last owners of the castle was a family and they abandoned it in the 18th century because it was too uncomfortable to live in. I'm sure the walk up to the castle wasn't that fun. What I love about Spies is the massive walled area. I mean, that would have been a cool place to hang out during medieval times. Afterwards, we're gonna head over to the United Kingdom to visit Conwy Castle. Located in Northern Wales, Conwy Castle is an extraordinary piece of history. It was built by Edward I at the end of the 13th century. The castle, along with the walls surrounding the city, cost 15,000 pounds to build, which was an enormous amount of money back then. Over the next few centuries, it proved as a strong fortress that withstood many wars and sieges. I just really love the round watchtowers and just the pure medieval look that this place has. While we're still in the UK, we're going to head up to Scotland to visit Edinburgh Castle. Perched upon an extinct volcanic rock, Edinburgh Castle can be seen from all angles of the city. The castle is one of the oldest fortified places in Europe. The rock was inhabited as early as the 1st century, but wasn't until the 12th century when the castle started to take shape. This castle has had one heck of a history. In its 1100 years of existence, it's believed to have faced 26 sieges, making it the most besieged place in Great Britain and one of the most attacked places in the world. Today Edinburgh Castle is one of Scotland's most visited attractions and it's just a piece of history you gotta witness if you're in Scotland. Another stunning nearby place is Dunotar Castle. Now located about two hours drive from Edinburgh, this medieval fortress is another historical gem. Today only the ruins remain to tell the castle's past. The massive cliffs right against the ocean just make this fortress so dramatic. I wish I could have seen Dunotar in its former glory. Another one of my favorite castles in Scotland is the Eileen Donan Castle. Now if you're driving out to the Isle of Skye, you'll pass right by it. It's situated on a small tidal island at the point where three great sea locks meet. The castle was built in the 13th century but got completely destroyed in 1719 by the naval force. Luckily the castle was restored in the 20th century and today it's one of the most photographed places in Scotland. It's been featured in films such as Highlander. It's just quite the scenic spot you gotta check out if you're visiting the Scottish Highlands. Alright, after Scotland we're gonna head Head over to Germany to visit the Hohen Zazan Castle. Now I have to say this is one of the most impressive castles on the list. It sits perfectly on Mount Hohenzollern and can be seen from miles away. Hohenzollern is the last of three castles that was built upon this hill. It was completed in 1867 as a memorial to the Prussian royal family. Today it's one of Germany's most visited castles and I understand why. Another stunning castle in Germany is the Kohem Castle. The original castle was built back in the 1100s and it made its money by collecting shipping tools on passing ships down on the river. Sadly, it was destroyed in 1689 by the French, but in 1868, a wealthy businessman from Berlin decided to rebuild the castle ruins. Today, it stands perched on a hill overlooking the beautiful town of Kohem and the Moselle River. Another stunning castle just 30 minutes away is the Elz Castle. It's a popular place to get that classic Instagram picture. So if you're in the area, you gotta check both these castles out. You won't regret it. After Germany, we're gonna head over to neighboring Poland to visit the massive Malbork Castle. Located in the northern part of the country, about an hour's drive from Gdansk, Malbork is the largest castle in the world by land area. It was built in the 13th century by the Teutonic Knights 
who were German Catholic Crusaders. Now, as the number of knights grew, so did the castle, which encloses an area of 52 acres. It's just crazy to think that people were able to build such buildings back then. Sadly, more than half of Malbert Castle was destroyed during World War II, but thankfully it has been rebuilt to its former glory. After Poland, we're going to head over to Lithuania to visit the Traki Island Castle. Located on an island in Lake Galv, Traki Castle is one of a kind. It was built in the 14th century and it served as one of the main centers of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Over the centuries, the castle survived many battles, but during the 17th century wars with Moscow, the castle was damaged and gradually deteriorated. Thankfully, it was reconstructed in 1961 to portray its 15th century style. I just love the cone orange roofs with the beautiful surroundings of the lake. After, we're going to head over to visit the castles of Transylvania. Now, one of the most famous castles in Transylvania is Braun Castle. Located near the city of Brasov, castle was built around the 14th century and served as a fortification against the Ottoman Empire. Similar to Orava, Braun has been named Dracula's castle thanks to its dramatic architecture. I mean, I could just totally imagine Count Dracula using this castle as his hideout. Another impressive medieval place in Transylvania is Corvin Castle. Castle. It's one of the largest castles in Europe and its construction began in 1446. Like Braun, it has a creepy vibe to it. Needless to say, Transylvania is a fascinating region full of some of the world's most uncanny castles. After, we're going to head over to Austria to visit the Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Perched on a hill in the beautiful city of Salzburg, Hohen Salzburg Fortress is one of the largest and best preserved medieval castles in Europe. Construction began in 1077 and it continued to be expanded throughout the centuries. I just love how the fortress overlooks the entire city of Salzburg and it's surrounded by the Austrian Alps. I mean, just quite the place. Now, after Austria, we're going to head over to Malta to visit the Citadella, located on the island of Gozo. The Citadella is a massive fortress with quite the history, and before it was a fortress, it's to believed to have been the site of an Acropolis. Now, during medieval times, the Acropolis was converted into a castle, and it served as a refuge for the people of Gozo. I just can't believe how massive it is. What a place. After, we're going to head over to Portugal to visit the Castle Illyria. Constructed in the 12th century, this castle was built to create a line of defense against the Arabs. Throughout the years, the castle started to lose its military importance and it was damaged extensively by French invasions. Today, the castle has been restored and I just love how it's integrated with the city. I mean, there's just houses all around it. It'd be pretty cool to live next to the castle if you ask me. After Portugal, we're going to head over to Spain to visit the Alcazar de Segovia. Now, located in central Spain, about an hour's drive from Madrid, I have to say this is one of Spain's most dramatic castles. It has a very distinct shape that resembles the bow of a ship. The castle was built in the 12th century as a fortress, but served as a royal palace, prison, and military academy throughout the years. Today, it's a museum and one of Spain's most unique castles. After Spain, we're going to head over to the Netherlands to visit Castle de Har. Located about 30 minutes outside of Amsterdam, Castle de Har is one of the most beautiful and well-kept castles in Europe. The surrounding grounds and gardens are immaculate. The castle has 200 rooms and 30 bathrooms. So if you're in Amsterdam, you might as well check this place out. After Netherlands, we're going to head over to Georgia to visit the Rabati Castle. I mean, I was shocked when I found out about this place. I mean, it's so well-preserved. The medieval the medieval fortress was built in the 9th century by a Georgian prince, and over the next three centuries, the fortress grew into a city with guarded entrance gates, watchtowers, all surrounded by an impressive medieval walls. The city survived many invasions and continued to thrive. Today, the Rabati Fortress has been restored, and in my opinion, it's one of the most underrated medieval fortresses in all of Europe. Inside the fortress, there's a mosque, fountains, and other impressive features. It's such a beautiful place, you gotta check out if you're ever in Georgia. Now, for our last castle, we're gonna return to Germany to visit the iconic Neuschwanstein Castle. Now, I have to say this is the most beautiful castle in all of Europe. It's what inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. It would be the perfect place for a princess. Now, the castle is nestled at the very tip of southern Germany. Neuschwanstein Castle is perfectly placed in the mountains with a phenomenal 360 view of the Bavarian Alps and the town below. The construction of the castle began in 1869. Now, during World War II, the SS debated blowing up the castle to prevent it from falling into the enemy's hand, but thankfully it never happened. The castle receives over 1.4 million visitors a year, so it's definitely a tourist hotspot. I just can't get over the beauty of this castle. It's truly something out of a fairy tale. Well, that is it for my castle's top 20. Let me know where your favorite castle in Europe is in the comments below. I started a new channel where I post hour-long relaxation films with calming music. 
The film features places all over Europe and around the world. I'll link it in the description below. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Shirley.Films. It's Ryan, and we will see you later.